hello and welcome to data science in your pocket finally open ai has released its much awaited model that is oven or uh, gpt5 or strawberry or whatever you want to call it it has released two versions oven preview and the other one is oven mini which is comparatively fast and eff efficient and uh, i won't get into the details and uh, theory part of it because that has been covered in one of our previous videos uh, like it performs how it performs in maths and all of that uh, stuff and how is it doing better in uh, many of the metrics um, so if you want to check it out you can check our previous videos and also you can go through this open ai blog to check it i will directly uh, get into the uh, testing of oven so as you can see i have the access of oven preview and oven oven mini you can see that oven preview uh, uses advanced reasoning so we'll start with this model and uh, so let's start with very basic question and the very famous one uh, i just can't hold myself i have to ask this question that how many hours are in strawberry so let's go ahead so as you can see it is thinking so earlier uh, it they used to be direct response now uh, you can see it is written thought for a couple of seconds so that is the you can see usp of this model and as openai says it it goes through a chain of thoughts it thinks like a human uh, and gathers all its knowledge and then answers so that is the difference between oven and previous versions so let's see it has uh, broken it down into uh, smaller problems and finally the answer is three so uh, yeah it has been able to give right answer uh, if you remember that the earlier models 4o and 3.5 in gpt4 were not able to precisely give the answers uh, correct for this particular question but now it's uh, it's giving a correct answer so uh, let's get ahead and so i will give oven these puzzles and let's see how it performs because as uh, has been advertised that oven is doing quite well when it comes to coding maths and science stuff so let's see how it performs in puzzles so it's a very basic puzzle um, involves numbers so it will also check how is it able to uh, perform when it comes to uh, normal maths so as you can see it is uh, going through some sort of thought process and you can even see how the uh, llm is thinking so that is something very interesting because then you can uh, modify your prompts modify uh, your your uh, messages accordingly so um, it's uh, this is something new which has come up that that it thought for 11 seconds so it took a um, bit more time i would say than its previous versions like 40 and 40 mini if i remember clearly uh, they used to take uh, less time in responding but i think that is the usp of this model it it thoughts for a few seconds before before responding so uh, as you can see determining the minimum okay let's you see mapping sock choices now it is uh, just analyzing the problem piecing together the plan now again uh, using all the information it has it has ga gathered from the uh, word problem and then chunk i don't know what chunk is ensuring at least two black socks in a selection of in socks what does this chunk mean i don't really know and i actually i have uh, gone through a lot of um, uh, twitter um, post and youtube videos and they have also said that there's this chunk thing coming up what it exactly means i don't know maybe i have to read, read and find out uh, but piecing together the solution now it is uh, has now it is coming up with the solution calculating the worst case scenario uh, totaling 38 then and then show the reason for black socks so let's see whether it is I think it was not able to generate any answer don't know why so it is being glitchy i don't know it is due to overload or something but it is not uh, giving results very quickly and uh, also sometimes it just gets stuck so i'll try again so 
so now it thought for 14 seconds uh, then counted the socks took all of that stuff and finally finally it has been able to give the answer as 40 which is the correct answer by the way so this tells you that it has massively improved when it comes to understanding word problems and you know uh, mixing that arithmetic logic and general uh, language logic together so uh, this is a big leap i would say this was the sector or this was the field in which other llms were doing very uh, bad so so this is something which is very interesting and yes it has analyzed the problem as well worst case scenario and all of that total stocks he must take out and yes finally so 40 is the answer and um, so let's use another uh, prompt it's a general word problem and let's check out uh, whether it is able to solve it or not again thinking analyzing the scenario pulling together connections so see again it got stuck so this is happening repeatedly in my case that it is getting stuck it is giving correct answers but it is getting stuck but again it has been able to give the answer correctly it is indeed uh, a true statement that is a married person looking at an unmarried person it is true so it has been able to solve this riddle as well which tells you again that it has performed it is able to uh, think through the puzzles and riddles very efficiently as compared to its previous versions so now i will test it with one very interesting prompt i'll ask it how many words are there are in your response to this prompt let's see what it is able to do uh, it's a very tricky question actually because i am giving the prompt and i'm asking question out of same prompt <laughs> oh interesting your request was flagged as potentially violating our usage policy please try again with a different prompt <laughs> i don't know what is the usage policy of uh, openai but um, looks like something fishy has happened at the back end don't know i'll try again maybe it is able to answer it again it's a simple question nothing has nothing to do with um i mean violating their policy as such oh it is again not able to answer this question i don't know why is it happening let's try something else uh, maybe i'll ask it another interesting question how to from so i have asked it uh, how to prompt yourself be a basic uh, question on prompt engineering let's see how is it able to analyze itself in a way and give some of the tips uh, so be, be clear and specific quite generalized um, request step by step by step explanations provide context or background information again quite generalized stuff nothing some nothing interesting as such um again it got stuck don't know why it is happening maybe it is due to the uh, overload it is having um, it has just released and and i remember there was some kind of limit to it as well uh, for plus users who who got the access by the way so it might be the reason so i will try this prompt once again and let's see whether it is able to generate any response this time or not for the last two times it threw up an error let's see how it goes so i uh, tested the o1 preview and o1 mini using this prompt how many words are in your response to this prompt and uh, this first one is the answer from o1 mini uh, here it is written o1 preview but the answer came from o1 mini um so this uh, took seven seconds and response was six words so but actually the response had five words as you can see one two three four five so the answer was wrong um uh, so owen mini was not able to give correct answer let's see what happened with owen preview 
in case of oven preview it thought for 15 seconds in the first time first go and was not able to give any answer maybe due to some glitch then it thought for 11 seconds and gave answer as six words while actual words were three six seven total seven words were there so both oven mini and oven preview have not been able to give correctly uh, the answer to this um, prompt but i have seen a twitter post uh, which said that they asked a similar question and it was able to generate the correct answer so um, maybe it is hallucinating um, but i think overall it has uh, improved massively it has been able to give much better results when it comes to puzzles num comes to numbers comes to when it comes to uh, word problems when it comes to um, uh, understanding the overall context of a long uh, word problem uh, so yeah Mm, it is doing well and obviously the you have seen the benchmarks the maths the coding part the mm, science part uh, in all of them it is doing very very good and even outperforming experts in uh, scientific topics so it's a very good tool uh, move, we are moving towards AGI not AGI as such uh, uh, because uh, I saw a lot of Twitter feeds where uh, people were calling it AGI it's not AGI as of now for sure but obviously we move gradually towards perfection so we are getting better and better and this is a big leap i i must say and a bit more testing is required i'll do uh, a lot of testing test it with other models like cloud 3.5 and others and we'll see uh, what it is able to do and maybe i'll test its api as well and whatever new i'll find i'll let you know so yeah that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you